Dear friends, hello. I would like to uh, present uh, an interesting case. Uh, this is a, a female patient, uh, 34 year old, uh, who had a head injury. And uh, a CT scan was done to rule out any intracranial injury. Uh, there were no uh, suspicious, suspicious findings of uh, intracranial injury or skull fracture but however uh, I would like to, uh, to to show you an incidental finding just pay attention in this region in the lower posterior cranial fossa uh, what we can see here is this just have a look I will scroll up and down Uh, this is not the usual appearance. Uh, we can see uh, a degree of crowding of the foramen magnum. This is the medulla oblongata, and uh, here normally are the cerebellar tonsils. They are lying little lower than expected this, in this case uh, we have to uh, uh, have a look in coron in uh, in sagittal views and uh, take uh, some measurements we take the midline image and we draw a line at the lower aspect of the foramen magnum then we measure the lowest part of one of the uh, tonsils, cerebral tonsil, and uh, here it is, it uh, shows 4.9 millimeter. According to the literature, if uh, the projection is less than 5 millimeter, this condition is benign, it's uh, uh, not. Uh, uh, a Chiari 1 malformation or anything else but uh, the significance of the finding is a debate uh, between uh, several is a debate between several authors and uh, um, some authors believe that uh, this finding could be associated with uh, chronic migraines and some other conditions however the literature so, uh, says that uh, while headaches are common in people with low-lying cerebellar tonsils, no evidence links them to migraine. But anyway, uh, this condition has been associated with some other uh, uh, clinical uh, uh, pathology uh, like uh, neck pain, muscle weakness, uh, difficulty swallowing or speaking, uh, palpitations, uh, syncope, episodes, chronic fatigue, sleep apnea, nystagmus, vertigo, sometimes dizziness or bilateral hearing loss, tinnitus, and uh, sometimes some uh, uh, neurology from the upper arms. Uh, the conclusion here is that uh, a radiologist must be aware of this condition and must uh, always report if there is uh, any projection of the cerebellar tonsils uh, 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 beyond 5 mm from the lower aspect of the uh, foramen magnum. It is preferred to call the condition low-lying tonsils than benign tonsillar ectopia to avoid any confusion uh, from other uh, pathological entities like Chiari 1 malformation. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you find my videos interesting so you will not lose the next case I will upload. Thank you very much. See you again the next time.